Fix and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here. Join with the man, the myth, the legend, Sean Higgs. Talk some NFL action. Week 8, Sean Higgs had a hell of a week 7, uh, and we're going to look to build on that momentum. Carried into week 8. This is a Sunday game, October 27th. You guys are going to like, share, subscribe. Promo code below, somewhere below. Link in the description of the video. Head over to Picks and Parlays down there. That's where you get Sean Higgs' premium plays. Best bet subscription packages. NBA's out now. College basketball's only a couple weeks away. NHL's in full effect. He gets cold down. He gets down hard cold with some ice. How do you say that? Get down cold. on cold car. Cold cash. Cold, cold cash on the ice. Actually, got, cold I cash on the ice. Yeah, I actually got good. I got an NHL uh, game up here on Thursday as we do the video on Thursday. I got a Thursday night NHL winner up for you. There you go. Boom. Get over there. Get the stuff while you can. Falcons minus two and a half. This this side flip flop up down all around. Total forty six and a half. What are your thoughts on this one, Sean? So you know we talked about this game on Monday. I'm like, hey, we could get these games done because I already had. Yeah. Bet this game. I bet this game on, you know, if you watch, I do the look at line show still. You can find it, you know, type in look at lines. It's yeah. on YouTube here. Uh, yeah. Hi. We have a plus three. And now it's totally flipped to the other side here. So and now this is all based on what do we see on Monday night, right? Like, oh, let's see what happens Monday night. Well, the Packers lose their best receiver for the year. And Mike Evans has always been banged up. So they got some, they got some problems offensively here. Last time these two teams met, and again, do I still like the Falcons two and a half? Not really. We saw these guys a couple weeks ago. This game was 30 to 30 in Atlanta. Right. So, but times have changed. Injuries, it's a big, this isn't baseball or NBA where it's like, oh, you know, better get, you know, let's just fade the injury report. Nah, that doesn't work out when you lose like your quarterback too. How'd that work out for Miami Dolphins? Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at the total here under 46 and a half because as much as it was a high flying affair, it's a short week now. Right. Atlanta's. Uh, they're in a kind of bounce back spot because they lost, but they also turned the ball over three times. So that was a, you know, a spot where I said that kind of like Seattle in that spot based on Tampa on deck, revenge spot, rivalry, division. Here's their payback time, but I think it's going to be a low scoring game. Again, I can't underestimate losing uh, offensive weapons on a team that's going like to rely that. on Bucky Irvin and, and Sterling Shepard or whoever else are going to roll out here <laughs> for offense for Tampa Bay. <laughs> I don't, you know, seriously, I mean, 46 yeah. and a half, I'm going to go under the total. Look, I mean, tight ends, all right. You'll probably look at the tight ends, but give me the under 46 and a half. And I'm hey, not, yeah. you mentioned my, my NFL. Finally, a good week in NFL. Seven and two for me. I had been <laughs> I like five and five, four and six. Finally, I break through. So, yes, I hope it hope it. Continues. Yeah, I was just to say, it's not like, you know, you're floating right around that six and four, five and five week every every week and then you were you we were just talking about this last week ready for a breakthrough week week and week seven was that i'm gonna carry this momentum with you into week eight I under 46 it. and a half i i'm with you on tampa i'm i bet tampa at minus two and a half don't feel great about it i'm a degenerate so i took a plus two and a half too but i love the 40 under 46 and a half sean higgs we appreciate you as always good luck unless you're against this take care folks